like this. This is that, what we, we, we uh, call with Panasonic, and we try to bring the Firefox OS uh, outside of phone, so bring more devices. So this is our first product, Panasonic yeah. TV, mm -hmm. and this is a UI we call with Panasonic. Yeah. And it's not only just for Panasonic, we are looking for more partners that yeah. want to use this interface. I can introduce the interface. Yes. The basic idea is simple. and. Uh, uh, the first time uh, you just watch TV and you just press the home button mm -hmm. to yeah, go out this interface. And uh, in the very beginning, it's only three items like TV, apps, and devices. Mm -hmm. And the idea is you can pin anything uh, across the system. So, you, you, so it, like, oh, this device I, I connect it. All the time, or maybe I use HDMI all the time, and I think it's very important. So I can pin it off. And then it's Basically in the list. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anything you can pin, you can pin TV channels, like channel 11, I watch it all the time. You can pin input source, you can pin applications, yeah, content, and web pages. Yeah. So after using for a while, this becomes your personalized interface. Yeah. You don't even to spend time to go back to the selection. Yeah. So that's the basic. Hmm. And you have apps also already? Yeah. Is the app already installed? It? You are looking. If you are looking for. For uh, yeah. apps, yes. Yeah, there's a marketplace. Yeah. Yes. Can you go in lifestyle? So you don't have to, you know, like go and check. Okay. Yeah. That, that's my app actually. Yeah. This. This is one view. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works on this TV already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it works. So there's no uh, adaptation needed. Yeah, as long as, I don't know if, if, if you view your app in HTML. Yeah, 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 yeah of yeah. course. But it was uh, only on older TVs, not on Firefox OS TV. Yeah. So it works out of the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natively, no problem. Yeah. Okay. But for now, they need to sign up in the Panasonic account to download okay. but, Yeah. And... Uh, but it's running, yeah. I, I can show some others like... Yeah. Uh, this is an example of what's happening to... Uh, we're just using this. Uh, YouTube is building a channel, mm -hmm. so, so it's running no perfect out of us. No problem, you can use it. So that's, yeah. yeah. That's YouTube. Yeah. And uh, who developed uh, the OS? Is it Panasonic or is it Firefox or both? It's uh, it's both, it's both. Yeah. but we bring the, the major idea of the education model and UI and we come up with the Panasonic. Okay. Basically, yeah, they are doing more work like uh, bring up more settings. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Like but everything TV specific. Yeah, TV specific. <laughs> and we want to uh, keep this UI mature thing. And uh, we are demoing uh, different devices can still run this this UI and maybe some car manufacturers or like, yeah even uh, the smart device like washing machine or refrigerator they want to make the smart device and co can call over this yeah. okay. uh, and you know when this product will be on the market uh, they plan to uh, ship in spring so probably in, in April May yeah. April May in the uh, worldwide worldwide yeah okay yeah. okay that's great news. I think the plane is shipped to 100 countries. And there's no access to the Firefox marketplace, only to the Panasonic marketplace. So far, yes. Yeah. Because we are still launching a program to have a TV profile uh, that's just on our marketplace. Yeah, and once we establish that, then the developer can submit their, their, their apps for TV. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so